Okay, just got back from Jasper Back. It's a new vlog. Hi, how are you? Um, I literally ran out of my favorite tea and I ran out of butter and I ran out of milk. These are things that I don't like buy all the time. So I'd run out and I had to pop out and of course I came back with much more than that. What's new? Um, did you? How would I know if you called me, if you called me by mistake? What are you saying? What do you mean? got some crunchies here typically the people who come to my house really like biscuits I'm not somebody who likes biscuits I love the other types of biscuits I'll show you what they are um, and if I do eat biscuits I'm normally binging on like Oreos like my really loved biscuits lemon creams which is not really often love this pack from Woolies I don't really like the crunchies, but I really love this pack from Woolies. And I normally put it in here. I'm sure you must have seen it in my videos where it sits right over there. Um, and yeah, everybody who comes in often just opens this up and starts snacking. And so I had just a few left over, which I put on the side on a plate because I want the fresh ones to go to the very bottom and then I'm going to put these on top so that they get finished that way. But um, the container that I put them in is an airtight container so they last quite a long time. Let me tell you, it's cold, it's freezing. Actually, in fact, let me check degrees wise. And like, what a one? It's 14 degrees and it's bound to get colder. But tomorrow gets warm. Thursday is going to be nice and hot. Friday, hot. Saturday, hot. Sunday, hot. So we're good. So today is going to be the coldest day and then it's going to pick up tomorrow. Who are you? What do you want? So, it is currently half past three. I've been reading for about half an hour, reading Queenie. But I'm actually thinking of preparing something to eat for dinner because it's bound to get colder. I don't want to be standing here and cooking and be moving around um, as it gets colder. So, I'm thinking I'm going to probably cook now. I'll show you what I'm going to make because I have it right here. Uh, I have it right here. I have it, have it, have it right here. So in the fridge, I've got some rice, which I cooked the other day. Not yesterday, the day before. So it's been sitting in the fridge. It's white rice. Um, I've been enjoying it as of late. But I eat it in very small portions, obviously. 
um, it's just really enjoyable when you make like a stew of sorts and things like that. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to make. And I am going to be making a pork stew. Now, this is the pork. This is a boneless pork chops. Boneless. Because I'm going to cut them in very small pieces, like in cubes. Cut them in cubes. And then fry them up a little bit. You know, season them. And then probably then add some vegetables. And then make it into somewhat something that resembles a stew um i'll show you all of that so i'm not going to cook any rice or whatever i'm just going to make the pork and the veggies these are the garden legume medley so it's pretty much got some carrots green beans broccoli which i haven't had in a while uh and zucchini and some peas so I'm going to add that to the meat when the meat is nice and cooked and wonderful. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how I'm going to prepare it. Let's set up my kitchen real nice. And then let's get into it. That I'm gonna use are the brown onion spice and the mum and law spice. Running low on these. So a little trick that uh, my aunt told me, or taught me, my aunt taught me when cooking pork is to add a little bit of water as you go. That um, stop the pork from stops the pork from being dry. Um, if you eat pork, a lot of pork, you'll know that pork tends to be dry, especially when you sauté it. So if you don't want it, oh my God, that smells so good. If you don't want it to yeah to be dry or to taste like it's dry and rubbery then you can add a bit of water as you Nice, nice. We're done. Our stew is pretty much done. It looks amazing. And you'll be surprised. I'm going to eat this with some rice and an egg on top because I, I feel like I was born in the wrong continent. On the wrong continent because everything I eat now is with an egg. It reminds me of the Japs and the Asians and the Koreans and all of that. So... I'll show you later. I'll come back later and show you. So pretty much maybe about four tablespoons of white rice. It's not much. The plate is actually quite big. Put the rice in the center. Add the meat on top. Get a bit of broccoli in there. Some more meat because carnivore things. <laughs> And a bit of some of the green beans. That's pretty much it. Of course, lastly, dollop the egg on top and pierce it in the middle so we get the yolk out. Nice. And then, of course, as a final touch, we add some spring onion. Got it. And it is up to you whether you look at that. She is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Then it's up to you whether you want to add some 
teriyaki sauce tomato sauce whatever you can dress it up how you want but that's pretty much my dinner easy peasy lemon squeezy hearty full beautiful again good morning it's a new day uh <laughs> the weather is crap today um it's not even morning it's like 15 minutes to 12 so it's almost afternoon and I literally noticed one thing about myself. I can't focus when it's cold. I, I don't want to work. I just want to sit in bed and read. And I just couldn't be bothered. I'm actually also touching my makeup for the first time in like maybe two weeks. Which is crazy. My sister booked a nail appointment for me this afternoon at 3. And it's almost midday right now. So I just want to, just because I'm going to be going out, I want to look a little bit appropriate. I'm not going to do a full face or anything like that, but I just want to see one, if I can still do my brows, <laughs> if I can still do my brows and, okay, uh, and it's just a reminder if I can still do my brows and actually look put together because I haven't done this in a minute, okay? And I really wanted to record at the beginning of this week. It's Wednesday today, but the week started off so, so cold and I just thought to myself, no, we're, we're, we're not gonna do that. My hair is in a very, very, very tough phase of its life. <laughs> um, it's growing out. I want it to grow out before I go get it cut on the sides. I can't dye my hair because um, you can't dye your hair too often or else it starts falling out and all that jazz. So I, uh, the next time I go to the barber, I'm probably just going to get it cut. So there will still be a two-tone yana with the ginger and the black, but that's fine. I feel like it still, it still looks nice. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go get my nails done today. Wanted to meet my sister afterwards and have a little easy lunch as a thank you to her because she's the one who booked and paid for this nail appointment for me. Like it was so nice of her because I had been, yeah, going through it with my nails like ah, do I go back I'm really enjoying the fact that my nails are much stronger now and all of that but she booked it she was just like nah sis get your nails done um, and I'm probably gonna wear a coat on top of that because wow CC wow and I'm gonna be wearing some ankle boots <sighs> flat ankle boots not heels um yeah and I'll show you how I look once I'm done with my makeup and once I pick which coat to wear and all that jazz. This is, I just did my brows, I'm not too crazy about them. I actually really hate them. They don't look like sisters, they don't look like aunties, distant cousins, they don't look like anything. But the mousse foundation I wanted to show you is this one from Essence. I feel like this foundation, this is the soft touch mousse, and my shade is number 43. I feel like as an everyday, easy, clean foundation, it's perfect. It's so, so perfect for a very, very um, sort of like skin-like finish. I'm not trying to do a full face. I'm just trying to do like what, what our Caucasian counterparts do with BB and CC cream. It's just that I have never come across a CC cream that'll match my, my skin tone. Option number one, this is a coat that I've had for years now. Look, look at the imprint on that coat. Look at that. So pretty. Um, yeah, it's a coat from Pringle. I've had it for so many, no, not so many, maybe three or four years now. Love it. At some point it was really tight. Didn't want to button up and I lost the button here. Damn it. 
so this is option number three i think you guys have seen this coat before um picked this coat up what two years ago something um it just reminds me of the whole tweed finish really really like this coat as well uh just for just let's not look all black <laughs> so as i said more inclined to do option number three really love this jersey this is like a jersey slash coat this stuff the stuff this one is very warm it's like it's it's, it's just it's made for it man it's made for you know just this kind of weather which is wetish nyana and cold very kryptonian kind of weather so very ct weather um but i absolutely love this okay so i ended up the weather was just crazy and then it started raining and then i thought this is not gonna work <laughs> with the coat and everything i really didn't want to get it wet so i opted to just wear one of my sort of thermals which is fine and i also changed my i don't know if you guys can hear me but i also i also changed my leather boots and opted to wear um tackies because i just i really couldn't be bothered this weather is so much shit i'll actually show you as i walk out but yeah let me go up i'm five oh, i was about 15 minutes early but yeah let's go up shall we just uh knock this up I wanted to actually show you how shitty the weather is. Can you see that? It's actually drizzling. So crappy. Alright, let's go inside. See what I mean as I'm wearing tackies. <laughs> It's a different day it's the next day it's the next day after what you saw <laughs> i'm actually meeting my sister for um oh i'm actually meeting my sister for breakfast here at wimpy it's our little sort of guilty pleasure we meet here all the time here and there where we have like a really salty and delicious breakfast so that's what that's what i'm gonna do i'm not quite sure if she's here yet and I drove the longer distance to get here. Whereas she, I don't know. I don't know what the, what the deal is. But it's okay. It's all good. Um, I got my nails done. I got my nails done. I got my nails done. Nah. Uh, so I'm treating my sister to a breakfast because, I mean, she done did the most for me. So that's what I was going to do. So let's go in. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we like your uh, beanie. What's Come written there? <laughs> what? Come Come this book. Book. <laughs> Tell the people what's wrong with your nail. My nail is rotting. Besides the fact that my sister copies me now. <laughs> it's rot, guys. It's rotting and it smells like a dead corpse. <laughs> what happened? What were you doing to break your nail? Mm -hmm. I was fighting. Oh, you were fighting. But I'm done though. That's the old me. That's the new me. I've changed. I don't believe it for no, sure. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Look at my. Look at what my sister got me. Look at what my sister got me. <laughs> what do you even mean? Look at these. Okay, I need to get my makeup on. Do a little shoot with these because, sis, what do you even mean? Yeah, so I just did my face, which, which is beat to the gods, okay? Wow. The only thing I haven't done is my lips because I'm going to be doing a gloss. But the reason why I have makeup on is because I need to take some shots for Instagram, okay? Need to take some shots um, and I will definitely be doing that. 
that part I'm not going to show you because then you see the content that's going to be coming onto my Instagram in the next couple of weeks. So, no, 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 no. I uh, still haven't figured out what outfits I'm going to pick for this uh, little photo shoot that I'm going to have. I just pretty much went with a very golden eye. I'm actually glowing. I've got highlighter on there, highlight on there. I actually love it. And on the inner corner of my eye, I've also got highlight. I used for this the Morphe 15D Day Slayer palette. It's one of my favorite palettes. I can't open it with one eye, but one one eye. I can't open it with one hand. Ah, I did. Hey. Um, but it's the perfect sort of nude uh, palette. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's the perfect sort of brown, warm colors, which is my, it's my kind of vibe. Um, really, really love this look. Glowing, pretty, not too much, not too little. Um, on my eyes, I really don't like too much on my eyes. It's beautiful. So I'm going to go look for some outfits, wash my hands, oil my hair, make it look a little bit more presentable. So this is the first dress this is the first outfit so cute um i really really love this one i've had this dress for about it's really flirty it's very colorful and all of that which is cute whatever you know i'm not wearing any shoes as you can tell yet um i wasn't planning to actually take pictures today but then the weather is so nice and i want to use tomorrow to do work work so i thought you know what capitalize capitalizes capitalize um so this is the first outfit this dress is from misguided really really cute very unlike me don't even know what shoes i'm gonna wear with it that's why it's just so unlike me don't even know what shoes i'm gonna wear with it but it's cute it's cute it's cute i feel like i could wear this for a ladies brunch that's coming up which is here at my place but we'll see all right, just wanted to show you. What so this is the shoe that I'm going to be wearing with the dress. I feel like the shoe is so cute. It's got that whole 60s vibe. So, so cute. I love it. <laughs> with the blocky kind of heel. We absolutely, we love her. We love oh, her. Oh, hey. <laughs> I just finished shooting. I'm so glad. I'm over it. It takes me roughly about two hours to do three outfit changes. Um, and today for the life of me, because I hadn't planned it, it was just literally something that was like so spur of the moment. I just went with it and we'll just have to see how they come out. The three outfits, well, one of them wasn't really an outfit. And then this was the last one, which is my, oh, hello. <laughs> This is my chilling at home kind of dressy, dressy. Um, and I also wanted to give those at home vibes. Just, you know, what you wear when you're chilling at home. And the weather allows. So, the girl looks kind of good. At this point, I feel like a gin, a drink. Uh, look at, look at, look at me. <laughs> that time you want, isn't she? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to... Um, Probably make myself a drink, relax, unwind, -na 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 -na. put my flowers in a vase. Okay, bye. Listen, y'all can't even blame me. I just had water and y'all can't even blame me for feeling myself today. What do you mean? <laughs> um, so I eventually finished. I'm tired. I took three sets of... Um, different shoots and on top of that I had to sort out the flower situation because those were a hundred roses and I had to figure out a way to place them in this house but I did that and I'm gonna show you and what else um then I also I, I set myself up with a little drink you know what I mean I did I did I set myself up with a little drink let me show you how I set up the flowers I'm at a, Yes, says one of my gave Let me say that. Yo. All right. Um, so this is flower setup number one. 
that's how they look i just need to arrange them so that they lift up like this but like full-on full-on shame feel bad for her and then the second setup is this one i need to move this to the center of the table there we go so the second setup is that one this is the third setup where i added some of the roses to my recent bouquet of flowers that i picked up at spa a couple of days ago so minus the roses this is what the bouquet looks like but pretty much the roses have sort of taken center stage beautiful i need to literally bring my plant downstairs but i'll do that tomorrow and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i feel i feel loved i feel full i feel happy i i just feel some type of way though no. <laughs> but thank you for spending the day with me the past two three days i'll see you in the next vlog Bye.